me to the empty tomb. I can tell you he's alive because he lives with me, but the rest is up to you. celebrated in such an awesome way. We have y'all an Easter basket. Y'all are not too old for it. So we present this as the church to y'all. Thank, so Thank you so much. Mama, mama, mama. Ooh. That is so beautiful. George says that's hers. <laughs> but this white chocolate's mine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all mean the world to us. And I hope after the message today, you don't try to take it back. We love y'all dearly. Y'all are, are the greatest in the world. And we had a great time out there on Family Day. We had about 125 people show up on Family Day. And uh, I don't know how many is here today, but thank y'all for being here today. And I told Joyce, I said, you know what? A lot of times people get so hung up on numbers for Easter. Well, how, how many do you have for Easter? You know what? I like to ask it a different way this morning. How many do you have at an altar? That's right. yeah. That's good. That's good. They can pack the house and they can have all the programs and they can have 15,000 kids and every grandma and uncle and aunt coming. And that's great. But how many is going to be at an altar? Amen. Yeah. And so today, after the message, I will say, I'm not sure how many might have been at church. But I can tell you the altars were full. And that's what Easter Amen. is all about. Amen. Thank y'all. Y'all worship the Lord as they sing.
one through four. Now, there's a lot of aspects of this story that you could just take and preach. And, and you could do it very evangelistic. You could do it very powerful. You could do it to where, you know, it gets everybody pumped. 
But sometimes people just don't understand. Maybe they're new to the church and they don't understand the whole entirety of the resurrected story of Easter. And I just said, you know what? What part can I leave out to shorten it down? And I left a lot of details out, but you just can't leave much out of this story. You just got to tell the story. You got to tell it where people understand uh, that my God uh, died for me uh, and he's no longer in a tomb. Uh, you just got to tell the story. Yes, amen. So I'm going to just tell the story this morning. It's not going to be nothing uh, super evangelistic. It was not a hard message to prepare due to the fact it's just right here in the word of God. So I'm going to just read the word of God and let the power of the word just speak to us this morning. Can everybody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Let me preach this morning. Matthew 26, 1 through 4.